Hello children, a warm welcome to all the students of standard 9. Let us continue with the next part of the chapter, Laws of Motion. Newton's First Law of Motion Newton's First Law of Motion states that an object remains in a state of rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled to change that state by an applied force. What does this mean? Basically, an object will keep doing what it was doing unless acted on by an unbalanced force. If the object was sitting still, it will remain stationary. If it was moving at a constant velocity, it will keep moving. It takes force to change the motion of an object. All instances of inertia are examples of Newton's first law of motion. What is inertia? The natural tendency of objects to remain in a state of rest or in uniform motion is called inertia. This is why the first law of motion is also known as the law of inertia. Let us take some examples from real life. In the first picture, we can see a soccer ball sitting at rest. It takes an unbalanced force of a kick to change its motion. In the second example, we can see that two teams are playing tug of war. They are both exerting equal force on the rope in opposite directions. This balanced force results in no change of motion. Newton's second law of motion Newton's second law of motion depends on a property which was termed momentum by Newton. Momentum, which is denoted by capital P, is the product of mass and velocity of an object. Therefore, P is equal to m into v. The rate of change of momentum is proportional to the applied force and the change of momentum occurs in the direction of the force. Suppose an object of mass m has an initial velocity u. When a force f is applied in the direction of its velocity for time t, its velocity becomes v. Therefore, the initial momentum of the object is equal to mu. Its final momentum after time t will be mv. Therefore, rate of change of momentum is given by change in momentum upon time. Change in momentum is equal to mv minus mu upon t. Taking m as a constant, we get m into v minus u upon t is equal to ma. As acceleration is given by change in velocity upon time, that is v minus u upon t is written as a. Therefore, rate of change of momentum is given by ma. According to Newton's second law of motion, the rate of change of momentum is proportional to the applied force. Therefore, ma is proportional to f. f is equal to k into ma, where k is constant of proportionality and its value is 1. Therefore, the formula for Newton's second law of motion is given by f is equal to m into a, where f is force, m is mass and a is acceleration.
Newton's third law of motion. It states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Let us take some examples. According to Newton, whenever objects A and B interact with each other, they exert forces upon each other. When you sit in your chair, your body exerts a downward force on the chair and the chair exerts an upward force on your body. Here, there are two forces resulting from this interaction. A force on the chair and a force on your body. These two forces are called action and reaction forces. In the next example, we can see mechanism of firing of a rocket. The reaction of a rocket is an application of the third law of motion. Various fuels are burned in the engine producing hot gases. The hot gases push against the inside tube of the rocket and escape out the bottom of the tube. As the gases move downward, the rocket moves in the opposite direction. You may summarize the topic with the help of given flowchart. Thank you.